<laughs> yeah, what's going on guys? My name is Sharpion, and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, just enjoy this beautiful music. I was just jamming to it a minute ago, just dancing around. But, um... I think this is the... F I don't know. This is more or less a, I think, a dating sim, but I've heard it has some psychological horror elements. And I love that type of shit. So, um... <laughs> this, dude, I love this music. I'm jamming right now. Okay. We're just gonna get right into this shit. Um, you know what, I'm gonna see the settings real fast. Uh, okay, for some reason my recording just decided to fucking stop. But, I'm back, and, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go right back into the game. Hey! Oh shit, I have to redo this whole damn log! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention that she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, what kind of... You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it sort of kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. For real. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting on high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase that for me like this, I'll just feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. And that face again. Damn, I really wish my recording didn't fuck up. Yes, she did oversleep again. I don't know about that. I think I just decided to wait for you. Yep. Uh, maybe, actually. I might be. No, I'm not the mean one. No, sorry. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, and then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. I thought that was harsh. <laughs> fine, fine. We did wait for me, after all. I guess I don't have... have it. I guess you don't have in you to be mean, if you, even if you want to. God damn, English, I'm still fucking that up. Whatever you say, Sayori. Don't let hee hee me. We'll cross the street together and make our way to the school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Sharpie Boo, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in clubs. I've been, I haven't been looking one for either. Eh, but that's not true! Oh god, that's crazy. You, <laughs> you told me you would join the club this year. Did I? Did I really? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about, that's still fucked up. Sayori so likes to worry a little too much about me. I'm perfectly content in getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. I feel. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't get to learn that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Now that's just fucked up. Happiness is really important to me, you know. And if you're happy, I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought that you'd become a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. That's... That's just... You call him mean. You call me mean, but you say that shit. That's fucked up. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep... Uh, don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright. Alright. I'll look at a few clubs that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise that you try a little? Yeah, I guess. I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself be lectured by such a carefree girl? Why do most guys do? When not, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. 
The school day is an ordin <laughs> is as ordinary as ever. And so before I know it. I have to pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Same. Clubs. So you want me to check out some clubs? Guess I have no choice. Start with the anime club. I I'd do that, seriously. Hello! Sayori. Sayori must have come to the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around as I realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. Like, I don't know how people- how you, how, how you can do that. How the fuck do you not notice something moving away from you? Like, the whole entire class is gone, but you, you're just sitting there in your mind. Well, maybe I've done that. I'm, uh, I'm just talking about random shit now. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and you spacing out. So, you ca so I came in. English, fuck. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Why are you impressed by that? You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, that you come to my club. Sayori... Oh, hell no. Yeah? There's no way in hell I'm going to your damn club. There you go, call me a damn meanie now. Yes, she's the vice president of the game itself, Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start a new club. To help start with a new club. Since she was the first one to show her interest, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Said my interest in literature would be guaranteed to be even less. That said, I fucked that whole sentence up, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and hiccup. Yeah. I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck? Damn it! I can't tell if Sayori's really being that much of an airhead or if she's just so cunning at playing this all out. Fine, I'll stop for a cupcake. You damn right I'm stopped for a damn cupcake. That shit's gonna be delish. And thus today makes the day I sold out my soul for a cupcake. You know, a lot of people will do that. Just saying. I dejectedly... De dejectedly, holy shit. Fall Siori across the school and upstairs to section. A section of the school I really like visit, being generally used for the third year classes and activities. So you're just full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. I glance around the room. Girl number one. Interesting name. <coughs> Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. So you're right always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Wait. What? Is- Huh? Isn't this girl- Okay, that's- I'm confused. That- that looks almost exactly like Siori. I think. Would've killed the atmosphere. Ooh. Ah, Sharpie Boo. What a nice surprise. Come- Welcome to the club. That'd be my response to all the words escape me at this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girl. Really, dude? Well, why? Why am I even surprised? This I think this is a dating sim. I think, maybe. I know it's a visual novel, but what are you looking at? I'm gonna say something. Say it. Sorry, Natsuki. Hmm. <clears throat> it's apparently Natsuki. I don't recognize. Small figure, if she thinks she's probably a first year. And she's blushing. Goody. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Siori. <coughs> you can't just ignore her. She gets moody. <coughs> so it says quietly into my ear and turns forward to the other girl. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. 
Oh wait, no, they don't look the same. I don't know why I thought they did. Okay. Don't say things like that. Here he appears comfortably more mature and timid seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's good to see you again, Sharpie Boo. Monica smiles sweetly. Okay. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica <coughs> was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Miss Click, completely out of my league. Damn, dude. That's fucked up. <laughs> so having her smile at me genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, shy boo <laughs> We made a room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I'm a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Thanks <coughs> for the important table. Mention it's been widened. So there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner where Natsuki grabs wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Seal feeling awkward, I take a seat, seat next to Siori. Man, there's no choice. Wow, it's fucked up. Natsuki probably ma marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> I'm okay, I need to stop. Natsuki lifts the foil off... off oh my god, okay, English. Lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated, not according to me, but look like little cats. Little cats? The whiskers are drawn with the icing. Little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea. You were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So Yuri grabs first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Oh god, I'm cringy. Sierra talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take- Why the fuck do you look for the best angle just to take a bite of a damn cupcake? Just to eat the bitch! Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Damn! I finally bite down. <clears throat> the ice is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not, it's not like I, I made it or anything. God. Fucking sooner, right? Haven't I heard this somewhere before? God damn it! I already called it! I already... I fucking called it before she even said it. <laughs> eh. I thought you technically did, Siori said. Well, I maybe... Why, why did I say I? But not for, for, for you, you know, <laughs> dummy. God. I'm cringy as hell. Alright, alright. I give up on Nazi's weird logic and dismiss this conversation. Dismiss. Dismiss. What the fuck? Your turns the table. Turns the table. Turns to the table. Carrying sweet. Why am I saying sweet tea? It's just tea. Son of a bitch. Scared for places to eat cup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep the whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, teachers give us gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. Don't let yourself getting in get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Oh god. Oh god! That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica rises in there. Ri rises. Fuck. Raises an eyebrow. <laughs> eyebrow. Yeah. Raises an eyebrow. Fuck it. And then smiles at me. So, let me to consider literature. 
Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I should tell Monica I was probably get dragged by him. Well, I'm joining clubs yet, and seriously, I'm really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any major, any of the major clubs. Were you a leader of the debate club last year? Eh, uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels nothing but arguing about the budget, publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd rather much be take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. A lot of people would. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a really great leader. You're also not in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start the club. We can put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially if it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events and like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all just interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked <laughs> must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're also delighted by the new idea by, by the idea of a new member joining. Damn it. Still, I don't know if I can keep up with the level of enthusiasm about literature. So sharp people, what kinds of things do you like to read? Shit, um uh well, considering how I've read little I don't really have a good answer for him. Manga. Half joking. So they broke up. The system she keeps quiet. Not much reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? Spoke without thinking. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Spirits are using novels to build deep, complex fantasy worlds. Level of creativity, craftsmanship behind me, them is amazing to me. And telling good stories such as Foreign World is impressive. She goes on, creative, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems to. She seems so reserved and timid at the moment I walk in, but it's obvious that in her eyes, obvious the, by the way her eyes light up when she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Are you suggesting something about or foreshadowing something later in this damn game? Isn't it amazing how a writer can seem so deliberately take advantage? Writers so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of an imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh god. Ah, I read a horror book once. Just to grasp something I can read at the minimal level. <coughs> this rate, I'm having a conversation with the rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think and takes me to another world, then I can really, really can't put it down. Surreal, surreal, surreal horror is often as successful at changing the way you look at the other world. At the world! Fuck. English. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just. Let's see, that dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Oh, are you scared? Are you scared? That's why I usually like to write, like to write about cute things, don't you? Not scared. Oh god, she's even more embarrassed. What gives you that idea? Well, get scrap paper behind. Looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. And give it back, bitch. Fine, fine. Your cupcakes poem. Your poem. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is so cute as you are. Oh god. So you are settles up. Sidles. Siddles. Behind, whatever. Uh, behind Natsuki puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not. Yet. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Eh, I do guess sometimes. Why do you care? I just think it's impressive. Why do you think? 
Why don't you share them sometime? No. No. Let's give Versa Rats. You wouldn't like them? Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form, truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. That was deep shit. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <coughs> Clearly by that face, that is a guaranteed no. I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, that's not awkward. Okay! I have an idea, bro. Natsuki and Yuri was... And Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home write poems from her. Then next time we meet, we share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Sharpie Boo? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, yeah, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly can come forth about what's on my mind. I never said I would join this club. Siori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never ha made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at now. But... Right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll join the literature club. Oh, and they all race up. Oh, thank God. Oh, yes. Uh, yep, see? You were scared? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she caught me right handed. All I wanted was cupcakes. Welcome to the literature club. Thanks, I guess. Okay, meeting good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting we can all share. Monica looks like over it when you ask more. Shared poo, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I feel like anxiety welling up inside me. Well, there goes continuing chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Shoppy Boo, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, so you and I never walk home together anymore. We just always stayed after school, but sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. In the hallway, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I have a chance to go cl closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make one, make the most of my circumstances and good fortune will find me. I guess that starts writing a poem tonight. <clears throat> it's time to write a poem! Pick the words you think your favorite club member would like. Wait, what? Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Something good might happen with whoever. Um... Um. <laughs> I can't get to pick fucking words. Um. Unstable. Mm. Dark. Aura. Destiny. Okay, let's go depression. <laughs> I'm just doing dark shit. Misery. Mm. Friends. Tragedy. Wrath. Love. Happiness, promise, 
Misfortune. Desire. Uncontrollable. Philosophy, determination, intellect. Hmm. Intellectual. Broken. Anxiety. Fuck it, disaster. Judgment. I'm just picking all the darkest shit possible, aren't I? Hi again, Sharpie Boo. I just you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I keep my word. Oh, I'm back to lift up. And last come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise. To Overwhelming of commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, he deserves a linear slack. Wait, wait, what? Oh, whatever. She had told me that he didn't even want to join the clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know how you plan to just come hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who just keeps your manga collection in the club room. Oh, you have manga too! Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, not so pops back in your seat. Don't worry, guys. Swiftly so always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even me asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Damn right. <laughs> See what he. That's always. That's because your room has always been messy and distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> We're good friends, aren't you? Might be a little jealous. But come, you try to become good friends too. Uh, here we go, blushing. So you are Hmm. There's so many things to believe, some weird. Just puts me too. Oh. Do you even brought you something today, you know? Me? me? No, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I mean, it's the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice change for me is just a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? <laughs> yeah. I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. I need the bag and pulls out a book. I don't really feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so I would keep your attention. Even if you don't usually read. Discuss it if you want. This is how a girl accidentally be so cute. Oh god. She even picked out a book and thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Not everyone settled, ex expecting Monica to kick the schedule activities for the club. But that is seem to be the case. So you and Monica have been cheering conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already carried to the book. I can't help but notice the intense expression. Oh, damn. Pick up. The intense expression as she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. Okay, anyways, guys. I'm thinking to stop it here. This video is getting a little too long. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. Let me know if you, if you enjoyed. If you want me to do these even more. And maybe even subscribe. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.